Hey guys, so I decided I would make a quick review on my hood and my front lip, both of which were added um, around the same time as um, fixing the motor. Um, I actually got these before fixing the car, but um, put it on the back burner because getting the car running is more important. Uh, I got the hood a while ago actually, and I filmed when I got it, so I'll show you guys what it looked like packaged and stuff. But um, yeah, after that, I'll show you guys how the fitment is and what I had to do to make it work. All right, so just took delivery of this hood. It is a Vera style Modelo Drive hood. Um, it came in this box. Someone opened it. I don't know if it was like inspected, but um, looks like it's wrapped up pretty good. Like this is pretty good packaging. Um, so far, it looks like it's not damaged, but we'll go ahead and open it and see how it looks. Okay, so the lip is here. Uh, this is how it was packaged. Just cut it open. Um, it did arrive cracked. Um, I don't know if that's due to the packaging or the carrier or maybe both. So, I mean, obviously no one wants that to happen, so I'm not really going to blame anyone. But that's not too bad. Like, I can fix that. I fix worse. But that is a bit unfortunate, but um, we'll go ahead and see if I can get that repaired. Uh, just glass it over and sand it and then throw it on the car. Alright guys, so I have the hood open now. Um, as you can see, I have the TRD strut bar, so that fits with no modification. Um, so yeah, what did I have to do to get this hood to fit? Um, there's a lot of different trimming that had to go on. So first off, uh, I had to do this, had to trim this piece for the hood prop to work. Um, you have to use their supplied <coughs> um, bolts, so not the OEM bolts. Um, there are no issues there with the fitment or drilling anything there. Um, <clears throat> and then we have this, which is the um, hood latch. So as you can see, it has like some kind of universal adjustable latch. So you have to do a lot of adjusting with this to make it hook on. And then <clears throat> this used to be an oval piece. And I had to cut it out here to basically make it like a U. And then cut these parts out to make it fit. So you can see here basically cut here and here. Um, to do that, I put um, grease down here, basically keep shutting the hood, see if it's hitting, and yeah. So <clears throat> that's pretty much all that was needed to make it fit. Of course, added these um, little hood pins on the side just as an extra. Um, if you're running an aftermarket hood, you want to do that with any aftermarket hood, like carbon or fiberglass, whatever. Um, this is actually very sturdy, but um, this could possibly rip the fiberglass or carbon or whatever material it is. I've seen it with a carbon hood and fiberglass hoods, so just be aware of that. Um, it also came with, um, this rain guard, Oops. which I don't have on right now. Don't plan driving in the rain, even though I am in a rainy area, but you can put this rain guard on here. Um, and it has uh, attachment points, so that's cool if you need it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna shut the hood. We can check out the fitment. That's down. That's down. So that's how the hood fits. Um, didn't do too much adjustment. You can see this is how the end is, hood gap. There really isn't much. I mean, at least for like an aftermarket hood, um, I've had worse. Um, I mean, this doesn't even look bad. If you look around, um, there isn't much of a gap at all. I mean, it, it seems um, pretty much like OEM, like I don't have an issue and then as far as like, <clears throat> is this lifted up? It's uh, not really. So, um, yeah, overall pretty happy with it. Um, it's not perfect like a lot of parts, but, um, I do like the look a lot better than my previous hood, which was just like an insert, uh, with this hood, it's a uh, built in kind of looks like an NSXR, 
but um, this is a replica of a virus hood, which is not available, so, um, and I'm not going to pay for that. So, yeah, that's my new hood setup and a quick review of how it fits. So the front lip is from 7 Apple Speed. Uh, they are only on Instagram, I think, so you have to talk to them by DM. Um, and this is the fitment. There, all I have is one screw here. I don't have any other screws. Just one screw on each side. Um, don't even have a screw in the middle, but overall, pretty happy with the fitment. That's how it fits. Like, there's no real gaps here. Um, yeah, that's it's like actually really good. Um, this is made out of fiberglass. Uh, fiberglass fits a lot better than the crappy polyurethane rubber stuff. But uh, yeah, I think they did a good job. Um, disclaimer, they did send it to me at a discounted price to review it. Um, but yeah, so far so good. As far as packaging, it did come uh, in a box that got crushed. So I did do a quick repair here. I'm going to have to bond with that, but it's fiberglass from behind. Um, but yeah, overall, um, it fits well in the car. Kind of get it, of course, painted to match the rest of the car, but um, as far as fitment, it's the best one I've seen so far besides OEM. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hope it was helpful for anyone that was looking at this on eBay.